Hello again, uh, Dr. Josh Skorupski from the Center of Reproductive Medicine at the University of Michigan. Uh, we received another question via the internet and that was a question regarding basal body temperature charts and ovulation predictor kits. And what people, had, what people wrote in essentially was that even though they've had ovulation predictor kits that have been positive, their temperature, uh, in charting their temperature, it didn't rise until a number of days afterwards and is there a problem and so on. So one of the important things to realize is, is that uh, basal body temperature charts are a function of progesterone levels. And as progesterone levels rise, body temperature rises. Um, ovulation predictor kits um, are better at predicting uh, when ovulation occurs. With basal body temperature charts, what happens is, is that it's, it's, uh, it's a retrospective look. So what happens is you don't know necessarily that your temperature is rising until after you've charted it. So it's, it's good to look back at a cycle um, you look back that month to see if progesterone level has risen and you see an elevation in your body temperature. The problem becomes is, is that by the time your body temperature has risen, because it's only a tenth of degrees, is that you may have missed ovulation by anywhere of one to four days. So it's, n it's not uncommon to see an ovulation predictor kit be positive first, and then a number of days later, your temperature level rises.